everyone, it's Jez here from nigeza.co.uk and today I'm going to bring you another case of a swap I got. Uh, quite enjoyed the last one and it seemed other people did too. So I got this lovely handbag and this was um, fellow Pootler, Kayla Love. She is Kayla's Crafty Creations and she's on Facebook and um, I just thought it was really cute. I really like it. It's just cardstock that's been hand stamped and I do love a little bit of hand stamping on cardstock so I worked out I didn't have to take this one apart I could I just measured it I worked it out by by just using my ruler um, I'm going to use to make this one um, some powder pink I'm going to stamp all over using bloom by bloom and I'm gonna I'm going for in colours so I'm going for powder pink, fresh fig, berry burst, and I thought, uh, I'm not sure, but I thought lovely lipstick might look nice. Uh, so we'll we'll see, won't we? we I was going to do blushing bride, but I thought that was really close to that. So let's have a little look. Let's have a little gander, and and a try. So I've got the stamps mounted up, but I'm oop ruler gone for Burton. So I've picked out the full flowers um, that are in this so I've gone for that one that little one that little one and that big one so yeah two wee ones and two bigger ones I didn't really want the air flowers to be fair and these were too big so we'll have a look I might change my mind as I'm as I'm stamping I might change my mind. I think I'm gonna go for the brighter colours being the bigger. Hmm. These are my thoughts. Um, I have got quite a big, squishy, new stamp mat there, but I'm actually going to use my pad. Right. So let's stamp this all over. I think it's best to do the big ones first and fill in with the little ones. I shall, this is going to be the handle. I'll tell you the measurements in a sec when I'm no longer concentrating. Right, so that's fresh fig done. Let's have berry burst with the other. Well, actually. Mm. No, I will go for Berry Burst. Mm. I will do Berry Burst in this one. So let's stick one in there. Stick one in there. Ooh. I'm going very pink and I'm not even a pink lover. I might do it in a different colour as well. Just for me photos after. There we go. I've got space there. I'm going to have to come back in with another fresh fig, aren't I? I think that space needs filling. Of course, I have no idea about the folding and stuff, so it might have been all right. Right, so now we're going to fill in the gaps with the other colours. So let's do powder pink so a bit of bit of tone on tone here I re-inked it look it looks all a bit like gingham gala there didn't quite soak in I stamped on it in the wrong colour like a der brain. There, let's put a bit on this. There we go. And now, for the moment of truth, whether or not lovely lipstick will go. Of course, we're stamping on not white, so it will actually look a bit different. Let me. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I shouldn't doubt myself, should I? That's fine. It's lovely, isn't it? I, uh... I did think about doing this in, like, blues. Maybe doing, like, things they've done there. I think that might be... Well, I don't know. Is that a pool party? I don't know. But I thought I could have done it in... I don't know. When I've put my teeth in, I'll actually be able to speak mint macaron. I did think about that with some sort of blues and greensies, but anyway, went for this instead. Probably because that one was blue and I just wanted something like completely different. So there we are. So that's my stamping. Done. I'm gonna give them all. A little bit of a quick wash because I'll only put something on it and spoil the whole thing if I don't do that. I still love my, sh I've got a chamois and I use my chamois when I use my stamparatus um, or, or if I'm sort of crafting on the go because I don't need a squirter, I just need a water supply so I quite like it for that but when I'm in my craft room I use my stamp and scrub move those out of the way right now let's get on with some scoring so got my scoreboard this one's really simple right so this is the handle goes across there um, and it's doubled over so this is uh, one inch by three and three quarters. So we just want to score it in half at half an inch. So down there at half an inch and then we'll just fold it in the half and then um, stick it down and we're going to, if we go half an inch there and half an inch I'll do half an inch from both sides then we know they're both done was it half or was it quarter oh do you know I'm not sure if I wrote it down correctly what's that oh no it's half an inch there we go so that's what we're going to do that's going to be folded in half and that'll be that'll be super. Right, this piece of paper is six and three quarters by five. Okay. Five by six and three quarters. We are going to score on the long side at one and a half, at three, at four and a half, at five and a quarter. And then we're going to flip it to the short side and we're going to score at one and a half and at three and a half. So the measurements of the bag are that it is, yeah I did write it down right, two and a half, but I've actually done that at two. Oh, do you know, sometimes, we'll just carry on. Um, this is going to be smaller. Because this is two and a half inches wide. And when I was doing my maths, I just did two. But it's actually two and a half. So, yeah, well, we'll carry on anyway. So this one's one and a half inches deep, one and a half inches tall, and two and a half inches wide. Mine's going to be two inches wide. There we go. Might do another one after all in the bluey greens because... Then I'll make it the same. Go carry on. Because it's a case and we do often used to think case, copy and share everything, but actually it is could be copy and slightly copy and slightly case E slightly embellish I don't know I want to say alter but it doesn't work does it slightly change in some way there we go so that's that bit 
Um, going to give this a burnish down there, and then I'm going to going to stick this down. I thought he had some fast fuse close by to the uh, super duper quick, but I haven't. So let's get me trusty Tombow. Stick a bit of Tombow down here. Have that stick in. Whilst I do the rest of it. Stick a punch on it. There we go. Now later, when I'm trying to find it, remind me, it's under me punch. Okay, so let me get this right. So that's going to be the flap over the top. So we need to cut up these bits. So nope, cutting up the front. Right. So we'll cut straight up the front bit there. That's the flap, so we'll cut straight down there. Big scissors might have been better, but that's fine. And straight down past that one. This one's going to get cut off. And then we're going to notch in these flaps here because they're going to get stuck in. We'll notch that side. And we'll trim a bit off. I have not done a prototype. So you might literally be able to hear me think whilst I'm doing this. Same on that side. Let me notch it in. Go. Get rid of these bits here. Oh, oh, there it is. Move me bin. Thought it was down there. Oh, and we need a corner rounder. Forgot about that bit. So, just gonna neaten that off a little bit. So stick that in there. that one in there then we've got a nice little rounded corner and then so that is the template and then I'm going to oh I haven't trimmed that one they should hopefully have trimmed enough uh, might trim a bit more off this might be slightly out of proportion. Two and a half might have been better. We'll see. Tom Baruni. Do you know, if you've never watched me before, you're thinking, Tom Baruni? Never heard of that glue. <laughs> yep, there we go. Stick that up there. Stick that one up there. Oh, well, I 
would like to stick it up there, Jess. Look. Jumbo sticks quick. But not quite that quick. find Meander and we'll just give it a bit of a bit of a curl and then we'll just turn over the ends And then just poke in the side a bit so it can go over. And then that will stick on the top. A bit of tombow. I might have actually made that flap smaller because I've changed the proportions. I'm going to stick with it there. I'm going to keep going. Keep going. No one will notice. Nothing to see here. Hmm. So stick them down. So the handle is slightly longer because of me being a total numpty. And then to close it up, I'm going to use some Velcro top, which I forgot to get out. Go. So I've got some Velcro stick-on stuff. They're not dots, they're rectangles. Well, squares, I think, actually. Um, I bought them so that um, I could um, size them differently. So I'm going to cut square out of that. Stick it on the corner there. There we go. And we stick one side on there. Take it off. Close it over. And stick it down. And then I did think I might finish it off like I did this little lamb bag with a bit of a flower on the top. So I'm using the same sort of setup. Um, and so I haven't bought myself any scraps like a numpty. So I'm going to get a scrap of fresh pea. And a scrap of powder pink. So I think what I might do is layer it up, fresh fig, powder pink, fresh fig, pink thing in the middle and I think I've got a little pink button embellishment. Oh, I do. So, well, it's not a button, it's a flower. I think that might look nice in the middle. One in the middle. Yes, gets in. 
that weren't lovely that so let's get this all stuck together don't like the way that that's cut it's all right so little blob of this On there. Sit that on there. And then put these flower embellishments, which are in the spring summer catalogue. Stick that on there, and that's it. Ever so slightly different to the original my mistake but no mistakes in crafting just opportunities to get creative so there we have it so that's the original and that's that's my little dinky number which i think works and you could fit some little goodies some little easter eggs something in there i've got some eggs it's almost we are thinking about Easter now, aren't we? Look at that. Maybe not quite that many. Do you know? Once again, proving if I had brains, it'd be dangerous. There we are. Some little golden eggs. How cute would that be on your little Easter table? For a little tabletop thing. Love it. Okay, so thank you to Kayla for that. Uh, all the details will be over on my blog, nigeza.co.uk. Hope you check it out. Give me a like and give me a subscribe. Press the bell. I don't know why I'm doing that because it's probably down there. And um, you'll get notifications of every time I upload a video, which is three times a week. I do blog every day with other ideas as well. So, see you again soon.